Okay, just a progress report. It's day 16 after breaking my left radius bone right here, and also spraining my wrist. Um, I was just going to go through a few exercises and uh, also go over a uh, broken pinky as well. So I was going to talk about some of the exercises of how to fix your pinky. Uh, this was a different injury from playing basketball, but um, the bone healed and uh, the finger did not straighten out completely. So they've given me this contraption here to wear, which is a type of a finger splint that has a spring on it, which forces your finger to open up. As you can see, my finger's still a little bit bent. Uh, use, uh, maybe more than a little bit, I don't know, but anyways, you put this on and after about 30 minutes it starts to hurt and then you can take it off a couple minutes and put it back on again until you get to the point where you can tolerate the pain for about two hours or so and then you go and uh, get another one of these that's a little bit stronger and it just continues the process of opening up that joint because uh, I don't know maybe the tendons have gotten weak that you know are responsible for opening and closing so here's one of the exercises it's after you finish wearing this you uh, try to make a claw with your fingers and you want it to be you know, 90 degrees in the back your thumb is right on parked right on the side and you squeeze a little bit, maybe about three seconds, then release, back up, then again, back down. And do this ten times. And when you're opening up, you don't want to go as all the way open. You know, it's not natural. You don't walk around like this. So you just go to the point where your hands are relaxed and open. Back to the claw. Next exercise involves holding with your other hand right below the joint and then just bending in, kind of isolating that first knuckle. Then move to the next knuckle. Continue. Now here, I could bend far enough to where my thumb is in the way, so I'll just move this hand. And just try to make it touch if possible. You need this pinky so that you don't drop things when you're holding them in your hand, such as change or any small object. This is the last part of the little container that we make with our hand. Okay, and the last exercises are called gliding, tendon gliding exercises. It starts off with your hands straight, fingers together, kind of squeezing a little bit, then to the claw. From there, you point it straight out, 90 degrees. From there, hang it down, bring it up back to the claw, then roll, make a fist, thumb in, and open. And back to closing and repeat.
So make a claw, point, hang down, back to the claw, roll into a fist, squeeze, open. That's three times. Claw, point, down, claw, fist, squeeze, open. Try to keep your hands loose. Don't you don't want it to be too much tension, or else it's going to get sore later. That's what they told me, at least. You know, we have the tendency to want to push hard, but sometimes you have to just push hard enough. Push too hard, and it's counterproductive. Okay, a couple more. Hands are getting tired. Claw. Thanks for watching. Hope you get better.